Glendale Public Library celebration of Black History Month. We're going to share with you today some books, songs, and a craft. If you want to learn more information about Black History Month, please check out our website. Our first book we're going to share today is called The ABCs of Black History by Rio Cortez, illustrated by Laura Simmer. Thank you, Workman Publishing, for allowing us to share this with you today. The ABCs of Black History, written by Rio Cortez and illustrated by Lauren Summer. History is not the past, it is the present. We carry our history with us. We are our history. James Baldwin. A is for anthem, a banner of song that wraps us in hope, lets us know we belong. We lift up our voices, lift them and sing. From stages and street corners, let freedom ring. B is for beautiful. I'm talking to you. Your voice, your height, your hair, your hue. B is for brave, for bright, and for bold. For those who stood up, even when they were told to step back, stand down, remember their place. B is for brotherhood, for believing in grace. C is for community, where we laugh, live, and eat and for church, where we worship, mourn, sing, and meet. Did you hear Reverend Crane pe preach on his dream of civil rights, human rights, a powerful theme? D is for Disapora, pulled from our homes, where we were carried away in ships on the foam, to Haiti, Cuba, America, Brazil. Our names are different, new, but still. We are connected, then, now, forevermore, to that long ago, far away, African shore. E is for explore, to study a place, like Matthew Henson, the Arctic, Mae Jemison, space. E is for education, for expanding the mind, like Ruby Bridges, Linda Brown, the Little Rock Nine, the first black children in all white schools. They opened the door and challenged the rules. F is for food, grown and farmed with our hands, worked and tilled and pulled from the land. For fried fish, ham hocks, warm buttermilk bread, or maybe the sharp taste of mustards instead. F is for folklore, by the light of the moon, for family, for freedom, for jumping the broom. G is for go, towards cities we were bound, for the great migration from country to town, from farming the land to the factory floor. We carried the blues on our backs. Not much more. H is for Harlem, those big city streets. We walked and we danced to our own jazzy beat. When Louie and Bessie and Duke owned the stage. And Langston and Z Zora Neale Hurston, the page. I is for imagine, invent, innovative. For all of the ways we are so creative. J is for Juneteenth. We were finally free, or so we hoped in this moment of glee. J is for Jover, when the drummers drum drum, from Trinidad, Granada, and Haiti they come. K is for kin, our fathers and mothers, our ancestors, our elders, our sisters and brothers. K is for Kwanzaa, which honors that bond. Ask Habari Gani, and we might respond. L is for love. L is for love. L is always for love. M is for march, for lifting our feet, taking the movement, the cause to the street. Black lives matter. Every breath, every dream, every thought, each idea, each impossible scheme. The might of our message is easy to hear. The drumbeat of hope is louder than fear. N is for newspapers. We started our own to tell our stories and let it be known. We deserve the front page. We deserve to be seen and also to be featured in slick magazines. O is for organize, for getting together, to sit in and boycott and make our lives better. Thank you, Fred Hampton. Thank you, Diane Nash for not being afraid of the possible clash with police and people who shouted and teased. Because of you, we can go where we please. P is for power. It's part of our core. Sometimes it's quiet. 
Sometimes it must roar, like a panther. Isn't that right, Huey P? Power for people like you and like me. And who do you think has more power than most? The president. Obama was first to that post. But Shirley Chisholm, on Boston on Bot, came so much closer than most people thought. A black woman could, which just goes to show. P is for possible. So glow on, child. Glow. Q is for queens. Behold and bow down. Shield your eyes from the shine of their crowns. R is for rise, to reach for the top, relentlessly striving, refusing to stop, like ball players, boxers, and gymnasts who fly, sprinters and skaters who zoomed right on by, old records, old thinking, a sight to behold, they went for the win and grabbed for the gold. S is for scientists who charted the stars, studied the bees, took care of our hearts, for Benjamin Banneker, Patricia Bath, for Katherine Johnson's beautiful math. S is for soul, how sweet the sound, from the croon of Sam Cooke to the wail of James Brown. Brother Ray on the keys, Sister Tharp dressed in mink, Queen Aretha sang, you better think. T is for Tuskegee, an all-black school, where students learned trays, trades and toiled with tools. That's how we will rise, said Boss Booker T. But another smart man just didn't agree. W.E.B. Du Bois said industry's fine, but I think it's better to work on your mind. They had different ideas, but here's what's true. In their own ways, they were thinking of you. U is for the United States. This story is tough. The birth of a nation was deadly for us. We the people, in the land of the free, no one who was enslaved would agree. U is for unbroken, unshaken, unbound, like Harriet Tubman, who went underground, took back her freedom, and freed hundreds more, some as a spy in the great civil war. But when the states were united again, the fight for our freedom and lives didn't end. So you is for unfinished, this American tale. With courage and strength, we will prevail. V is for vote. Do you know what that means? The freedom to pick and choose as you please. The freedom to choose who makes the rules, who has the power, who gets the tools, to make their lives better. That's why we fight. The freedom to vote is a true civil right. W is for writers whose wisdom and words bring to life worlds where our voices are heard. Rappers and poets and songwriters, too. All of those who spin from our point of view. X is for Malcolm, Malik El Shabazz, also known as Red, Malcolm Little, El Haj, by any means necessary, he insisted on change. Started with X, he reclaimed his name. Y is for young, gifted and black, like Lady Lorraine, who never looked back. She wrote of big dreams and rooms so small, it's hard to believe they were dreamed in at all. Lorraine in her work moved Nina Simone so much that Nina made work of her own, young, gifted and black, a banner of song that wraps us in hope, lets us know we belong. Z is for Zenith, the highest, the peak, the top of that mountain King said we would reach. He won't get there with us, but still we march on, rising, rising, like the sun with the dawn. And in the back of this book, you'll see the ABCs of Black History. who will identify the people in each picture and give more information about each of the letters. This title is available in print at all of the Glendale Public Libraries, and you can also read it the way we did just now on Hoopla Digital. Now we're going to sing a song together, and it's created by our friends at the Toledo Lucas County Public Library, and it's sung to the tune of London Bridge. Let's remind ourselves what London Bridge sounds like. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. All right, now here's the words. We're going to do it together. Okay. We unite to do what's right, do what's right, do what's right. We unite to do what's right for our freedom. One chance is all we need, all we need, all we need. One chance is all we need to succeed. 
We will drive out the dark, out the dark, out the dark. We will drive out the dark with our light. We are the change we seek, change we seek, change we seek. We are the change we seek, hope and change. That was really great. Let's celebrate Black History Month by learning a few interesting facts. Thank you to Versify, an imprint of Hoopton Mifflin Harcourt Books, for letting us share this with you. The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander and illustrated by Kadir Nelson. This is for the unforgettable, the swift and sweet ones who hurdled history and opened a world of possible. The ones who survived America by any means necessary and the ones who didn't. This is for the undeniable, the ones who scored with chains on one hand and faith in the other. This is for the unflappable, the, the, sof the sophisticated ones who box adversity and tackle vision, who shine their light for the world to see and don't stop till the break of dawn. This is for the unafraid, the audacious ones who carry the red, white, and weary blues on the battlefield to save an imperfect union. Those righteous marching ones who saying we shall not be moved because black lives matter. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unlimited, unstoppable ones, the dreamers and doers who swim across the big sea of our imagination and show us the majestic shores of the promised land. The Wilma Rudolphs, the Muhammad Ali's, the Aletha Gibsons, the Jesse Owens, the Jordans and the LeBrons, the Serena's and the Cheryl's, the Reese Whitley's and the undiscovered. This is for the unbelievable, the we real cool ones. This is for the unbending, the black as night is beautiful ones. This is for the underdogs and the uncertain, the unspoken, but no longer untitled. This is for the undefeated. This is for you and you and you. This is for us. This was The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander, illustrated by Kadir Nelson. Interesting fact, all the illustrations are based off of real individuals. All right, so we're going to share a craft with you that you can do from home. And it is based off of the G's Ben's quilts. And there you can learn more about these quilts in this book, Belle, The Last Mule at G's Ben. 
For this craft, you're gonna need construction paper, about four to five colors, a pair of scissors, and glue, either Elmer's glue or glue stick. First part of the craft, you wanna take four of your colors and cut them up into strips, all different sizes. Next, you're gonna take your piece of construction paper that you didn't cut and start gluing your strips on in any kind of way you want. You're all finished with your craft, it'll look like this. This is what we call the G-Bend Quilt.